How's um how's the weight thing? The weight thing? I'm overall since the last time we talked, I'm down a little bit, but not enough worth mentioning. Oh, um, I don't know. A little bit of stuff. <laughs> even maintaining. Yeah. Main, me. Maintaining maintaining is good and I have been I have been maintaining. Um, I went up a little bit after we talked because I just didn't pay attention to anything. But um, my birthday was two weeks ago. And since my birthday, I've been back to juicing again. And I've kind of taken more of an approach of instead of I want to get down to 250 pounds as my goal, I'm going to go for it. Uh, my goal is now today, I'm going to juice. I, I know that the end results of juicing are going to get me where I want to be, but instead of looking at three months, six months, a year down the road, just what can I do? Yeah. Seems to seems to help a little bit. That way, if if I get shaky on the road and need to have something that's not juiced to to boost my energy up so that I can deliver and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't beat myself up, being like, oh, I didn't make my didn't make my three week goal of nothing but juice, you know. So, right, right. So. That's good. Um, I had a, a couple fitness trainers and also cousin who's a he allows himself one cheat day. One cheat day. That's um, <laughs> or like so, one cheat meal. <laughs> so I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it a cheat a cheat day. Uh -huh. um, I'm not juicing on Sabbath. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, on Saturday, uh -huh. and it I don't want to do it Friday night, but when the sun goes down, it's Sabbath. So <laughs> according to my, you know, so I'll have something to eat. I know it's not it's not good to eat right before you go to bed and that kind of stuff, but I'll I allow myself a little bit more. But then once the sun goes down on on Saturday, it's back to juice. Right. At least it has been for the last two weeks. So so my cheat day coincides with the the reward and the the bonus of Sabbath. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that's pretty good. I think yeah. that's healthy. Yeah. Because when you kind of try to give yourself like no leeway at all. Like, then I think like the mind kind of goes nuts. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 So so this um, you're down a little bit not worth mentioning. Why don't we mention it? <laughs> why don't we mention it? Okay, I am I am ten pounds lighter than the last time we talked. But I was also um, because it's been what two months since we talked and we yeah, said yeah. it was gonna be a month. At the month mark I was up ten pounds. So so I, I went up I went up ten, down twenty, and now I'm overall I'm down ten. So, well, I mean that's still cool. Yeah. You know it's like, it, it's good, but you know, I, I've also realized that um, losing weight is hard enough that it doesn't happen by accident. You know, you've gotta you've gotta be uh, focused uh, and laser intense focus isn't quite what I'm talking about. Yeah, you've yeah. gotta you've gotta keep it in the back of your mind and always be cognizant of what's going on because I mean, if I don't, you know, I'll eat a whole pizza for dinner, you know, Sabbath evening, you know, and it's like I, that that completely wiped out all the gains that I made throughout the week. So maybe one piece of pizza rather than the whole pizza, right. you know, or um, maybe an apple with some peanut butter instead of a king size Snickers or, you know, that kind of stuff. So you've got to be, you got to be focused and intentional, but that doesn't mean that you have to be uh, a schoolmaster strict. So, um, what were you that way in the past? School, I, school master for like two days. <laughs> I would be I would be super strict for two days, and I go, ah, oh, I can't do this, and then I would, um, and then I'd feel bad for not being able to do it. So I would compensate by eating something. So it'd be, you know, it's like it, it, it's like disciplining your kids. You can't discipline them too much, and they rebel. You know, you're trying to you're trying to guide them not force them, so. I think, I think that's, um, your, your mentality is a lot healthier than if you were a schoolmaster in the past. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. So it's, it's almost as if you just have to kind of be in, intentional, like you're still not necessarily laser focused, like you said, yeah. but you're aware. I think, aware. A, I think aware is more, is more fitting than, um, intentional, mm. because, I mean, the, 
the tips for weight loss are easy. <laughs> calories in, minus calories out. If it's more, you know, if you're putting more calories in than you're getting out, you're going to gain weight. You know, and everybody's got, oh, well, you know, you've got this code and this. You know, if you just dial this in just right, you can cheat the system and lose weight. It doesn't work <laughs> that way. It doesn't work that way. And, and it's just, it's not my, it's not my, MO, I guess you would say, to you know, micromanage every tiny calorie, and that. I, I've got a good idea of what's healthy and what's not, um, but as long as you're aware and not just doing stuff unconsciously, because if I, unconsciously, I can eat a box of donuts, you know, I just, oh, that, that tastes good, I like the sweet taste, and it's gone, but if I, if I say, hey, those aren't going to help me reach my goal, not, not doing the you know, each one of those is 200 calories, so there's this many pounds and this many that, whatever. It's just, you know, those are not healthy. Just leave them alone. Right, you know? right. And as, as long as you're aware of what's going on, I think that you, you're you much more apt to make better choices mm -hmm. rather than just kind of stumbling through like a drunk idiot. Right. <laughs> right. Like, and I, I've seen that plenty of times where, you know, it's like, man, I don't know what to do about my weight, but no changes were made. Right. Like, they have this yeah. thing that's called mindless eating. Yeah. So if you have a bag of potato chips in front of you, like, at all times, whether you're working or you just do whatever, you won't realize you can exactly. get through the bag you're, of potato chips. What, you quickly. go through the bag of potato chips, yeah. but what happens is you're focused on something else. Mm -hmm. You're not aware of the food. Right. And it, and it, it happens a lot with, um, with, like, movie theaters and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, you know? You get the big thing of popcorn, right. and then the trailers aren't even done yet. And it's like, where'd the popcorn go? You know, <laughs> yeah, know because you're not, you're not, you're not aware of what's going on. So being able to be aware of what's going on, and like you said, the mindless eating. You know, if you're watching a movie, which um, I've watched a couple, you know, but have a have a bottle of sparkling water nearby and not a, a box of red pines or something like that. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. So, so it, it's it's really about being aware of what, what you're kind of taking in. It's it's aware, um, and I've I've tried to um, because I was originally doing it for Charlotte, you know, right. and and that was a huge motivator because then I was I was focused, I was aware, I was you know I had. The, you know, I wasn't watching movies. I was you know, praying for Charlotte. I wasn't. I wasn't uh, going out to dinner. I was praying for Charlotte, that kind of thing. And then when she got her liver, you know, they really took took the focus off. I gained. I didn't gain back near all of what I lost. I did gain some back. Um, but now I've got. I've got another goal. Uh, I think I mentioned last time that you know, I can. I can. Uh, if I lose enough weight, I'm going to go. And see if I can be a living donor in her name, you know, something like, something like that. Um, so that's that's kind of given me a motivation and a reason to stay aware. And it was um, in November of last year, it was an all-time high of 430, 430, 435, something like that. Um, you know, so I've kind of got... Uh, other goals beside that, I'd like, to, I'd like to be down to my college football playing weight of 298 pounds uh, by December 31st. Uh, but that's that's kind of like a, what I would like to do. But it's not a hard. It's not a hard. If I don't if I don't get here, I'm gonna go. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah so it'd be it'd be cool if I could get there. And it's it's doable. I think it's doable. I think it's very doable. And if I'm tighter on the juice, uh, I think that it, it is possible that I could even reach that faster. But I want to give myself the leeway so that I'm not beating myself up if I don't stick strictly to my plan. In today's culture, it is almost uh, what, what the acronym ADD. Um, attention, deficit attention deficit disorder. I've also heard it called ain't doing diddly. Right? <laughs> you know, um, we're so focused on entertaining ourselves. We've got to keep our minds occupied all the time. 
and just being aware that an idle mind, you know, they say an idle mind or idle hands is the devil's playground and that kind of stuff. But you need to slow down. You know, you, you don't need to focus on 700 things throughout the day. If you pick three or four, you're going to be okay. You know, it's not going to be it's not going to be as stimulating as normal. Mm -hmm. But just realizing that it's okay to just sit down and think for a little while. You know, Bill Gates, one of the most wealthy men on the planet, takes two weeks every quarter, or every six months, and just he, he goes to his uh, his cabin that he has on the Strait of Juan de Fuca. I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. I know it's out closer to the peninsula mm -hmm. he doesn't have any cell phone contact with anybody he takes a bag of books and goes and just thinks about stuff and if somebody that's that successful and somebody that is that um, intelligent because whether you agree with him or not he is a very very intelligent man realizes the need to decompress from everything and put everything into perspective and, and just think about stuff then that's something that we should that we should model as well. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, now it doesn't matter who's on The Apprentice or The Bachelor or the whatever. And I really hope that those shows are off the air so that it shows how out of touch I am. <laughs> um, but you've got to you've got to change the way you think. Yeah. You know, because if you're so full of the nonsense that everybody tells you you need to be full of, you don't have a choice but to mindlessly eat. Because it takes a backseat to everything else. Um, that's, that is uh, one, one tip, is cut out all the crap. You, know, you want to cut the crap out of your diet, but you also want to cut the crap out of what you're putting into your mind. Um, I, I'm a big I'm a big believer in cognitive behavioral therapy, and if you give if you give somebody the information, they're generally smart enough. They they may not they may not agree with it, but at least they have the choice. And once you're made aware of what you need to do, well then figure it out and fix it. So um, I've I've heard of. Uh, the different tips and tricks for stop smoking. You know, you put a rubber band on your wrist, and every time you want a cigarette, you snap yourself. If you remember to do, if you remember to snap yourself, and there's there's other tips and tricks that you can do to to trick yourself into into obeying the thing that you want to do. But when it comes down to it, you just just make up your mind and do it. I don't I don't know if there's a I don't know if there's a trick to it. I could be wrong. Yeah, you're, yeah. The, you're the doctor. I mean, yeah. you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it could be also, um, you know. And I think I think you're right. I think people kind of get to that point. You know, and they choose. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you have to go through a lot of stuff. To kind of get to that point. Oh sure. Oh sure. Sure. You know, nobody nobody makes changes when they're comfortable. You know, you look up one day and say, "I'm 430 pounds. This needs to stop." You know. Um, that's what that's what my turning point was. Like, you know, I've got a, I've got one of the biggest belts on the market that I can find, and I'm in the last hole. What am I going to do? And it's, you know, what? it's like, you know what? I, I don't need I don't need or want that. How did I get here? If I keep doing the same stuff I was doing before, I'm going to keep getting the same results. Yes. So <laughs> the question is, what would you? What advice would you give somebody that comes to you and asks you, I would love to have that awareness you're talking about, how do I get it? You need to cut the garbage out of what you're putting into your mind. Because it, your mind reacts to your mind reacts to the stimulus that are around it, right? If you've got if you've got movies constantly going in the background and podcasts and this and that and whatever, you've got so many things coming into your mind that that you just your your brain doesn't have the ability to focus on anything. So if you have like three or four things that you can focus on that um, throughout the day rather than like the seven hundred things. Um, 
<laughs> it's like it's uncanny. You know, you know we can it's uncanny. Like, every you know. every every time you talk, it's an airplane. <laughs> it's a this. It's a whatever. You know it's what like, we can do it next time. Is, I don't know if you're willing to come over to my house. Of course, of but course. Then I can set up a little thing there. It is to be nice and quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but but no, it's just it's really. It's really picking three or four things, mm -hmm. you know, three or four things throughout the day, and it, it could be more, it could be less, mm -hmm. you know, and really taking time to just relax, mm -hmm. you know? because if your if your mind is so full of garbage of Bachelor and, and TV shows and whatnot that you don't have you don't have a choice but to put it on autopilot for for the for the stuff that you do automatically, like eating, then you doesn't work. You know what I mean? You lose right there. Yeah.